Camera kiss, give the camera kiss, give the camera kiss. Oh, good boy. Do I get a kiss? Does Ellie get a kiss? Mwah. Good boy. So, good morning from my makeshift office. <laughs> so, things are 100% a little different now. If well, I mean, obviously all of you will be aware of the coronavirus and the effects that it has had on so many different businesses and people's lives. So this is currently my situation. So this is my current desk situation. I mean, so yeah, I mean, I'm quite used to working from home anyway. I film from home. I don't necessarily edit because I tend to go into the office and edit there because of all the programs, but because of the coronavirus, I can do it all from home, which I'm really, really excited about because it's kind of given me a glimpse into actual work from home. Um, I mean, I do enjoy it. I've, I mean, I've got all the Adobe programs and stuff, so, and of course I got a new camera. So let me know if you enjoy this new camera. I have been obsessed with it since I got it yesterday. I will insert a few clips of what other stuff that I got. So I'll insert that now. I'll probably do like a quick haul as to what I got. So I got a few SanDisk memory cards. I also got a, another mini tripod. I have this tripod on at the moment and I just find it a bit more comfortable to use compared to this one. But I just this came in a bundle, so I'm just gonna use this as extra. I got some Canon charger batteries, like batteries with a charger, because I've only got one for my main camera in Huddersfield, and then it's just so much stuff. This one is for the camera I'm currently filming on, so it's come it comes with two extra batteries and then an actual battery charger, which is really fun. And then because I have no lighting at home, I had to just buy a little beauty LED light, which Ellie's got one of these like in her flat and she finds it amazing. So I've got this one just for the time being, but oh my God. Say hello to the vlog. Ah! Oh my God. I'm just doing a little couple of bits, you know? 
so as you can see i did get quite a lot of stuff including the camera that i'm now filming on i'm really enjoying it i'm really starting to play about with it and it's making me want to pick up the camera a lot more the thing that was really kind of putting me off vlogging in the first place was the fact that my camera was so large i only really bought it for makeup tutorials and stuff so now that i've got more flexibility with a smaller camera i'm so excited to get into vlogging and stuff um a little bit of backstory about like why I'm home. So I originally came back to do two weeks at work. So I have a job back home, which gives me the flexibility to not have a job up at university. So I originally came back to work and I was meant to be leaving on Sunday, which didn't happen obviously because we got put into lockdown. So I'm now here, I'm now working from home, which means I have literally no makeup. I have one eyeshadow palette, one foundation and literally like one of everything because i thought you know what I'm, I'm normally so silly when i bring stuff I'm normally so silly when it comes to like, bringing stuff that i don't need so i thought oh you know what i'm gonna bring a weekend bag bought a weekend bag and i'm now in lockdown so yeah i'm gonna be a bit more creative with my content and i'm now flashing red so i need to quickly change my batteries okay so now that i have actually got some charging my batteries now this is also another thing i've got so much more flexibility to be filming a lot longer because i only had one battery for one of my cameras so now that i have multiple it gives me a chance to vlog more and i also don't have the excuse to not film anymore um but yeah so hopefully this will be the start of something really really interesting and really cool i mean obviously because i'm not the only one in lockdown i've got my brother and sister here my mum's a key worker so she's having to go to and from work which alone is like scary enough as it is. So I'm kind of glad that both of them are at home, but that just means that there's more background noise, but I'm getting more comfortable with vlogging in front of people. So yeah, hopefully this, I'm trying to see the positives in this ex experience. And you know, I spend quite a lot of time at home anyway, so it isn't too out of my routine, but yeah. So if you want to see, what I've been getting up to on my quarantine slash like lockdown situation. <laughs> Keep on watching. I'm really trying not to get the washing in, but it's fine. You've seen it in different angles anyway. So yeah, as you can see, I have got a little bit of makeup on now. Um, I'm just trying to make myself busy slash make good use of the new weather. But yeah, I don't know. I'm, start I'm starting to get a bit irritable. Um, I'm trying to think. This is... Today's Friday and I started, well, started being in lockdown slash isolation from Friday, because Friday was my last day at work. Um, so yeah, since like Saturday, so it's nearly been a full week, which it doesn't seem like long, because it isn't, but this week has just felt so, so long. It's not been great. I don't know. I don't feel as sick now. At the beginning of the week, I felt really nervous. Ah, my neighbour's watching me. Hello. Yeah, so, I don't know. I felt really, I felt really sick. I felt really, like, nervous for some reason. Please don't bark. No. Please, just whilst I'm filming, come here. Come here. Come on. We need to go over the rules with Frank. He didn't bark throughout any of my um, online conference calls this week. But now we need to get used to the camera. And when I say the camera's out, Frankie, we need to make sure we're not barking. Because it's going to be horrible to edit. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I mean, tell me how like you lot think about the whole isolation thing. I mean... I thought I'd find it quite easy. I don't know. I, I probably would have gone and seen a friend by now, but obviously that's not, you know, been able to happen. I just hope this is all worth it and it's like it stays at three weeks and doesn't go any longer. What do you think? Frank has loved me being at home though. He, you know, he loves having people around the house. So the fact that I've been here like every day since last week, he's really been enjoying that i've gotten used to the idea now i try not to consume as much media whereas like at the beginning of the week i was literally on anything and everything i've just been feeling a bit anxious because obviously of how much news i was consuming so i definitely recommend if you are starting to feel a bit nervous about everything and it's starting to give you anxiety then i definitely recommend being very picky with which media you 
choose to consume as well. Mm. I mm. don't even like check my phone anymore mm. um, or Twitter for that. Can you please stop? Good boy. Yeah, I literally watch his announcements at five mm. and that's it. Like I don't even bother like searching on Twitter or anything, which is what I used to do. Um, so I'm feeling certainly a lot calmer. I've gotten used to the idea of it. But yeah, it's just it's just one of those things we are just gonna have to get through. And I just hope that it finishes sooner rather than later. But yeah, just thought I'd share my thoughts on the situation. Um, but yeah, let me know what your thoughts are. If any of you are feeling anxious or anything, like that's 100% okay to feel like that. I thought I was overreacting and that's not the case. Like everyone is dealing with this in their own way. And yeah, just there is light at the end of the tunnel, you know? I don't know what the hell I'm gonna do for content. I'm gonna start planning my content now actually and figure out creative ways to stay on YouTube because I just, I love it so much and I've missed it the last week and a half where I haven't been able to film or even upload. I had two videos that I pre-filmed when I was in Huddersfield but I don't particularly like them so therefore I'm just not gonna put them up. So I'm gonna plan my content now, aren't you puppy dog? Hmm? You've been a good boy listening. Um, yeah, so I'm probably gonna plan my content now and see where we go from there. I mean, I don't even know what the time is, but I don't know. The sooner these days are done, the better, in my opinion. But yeah, uh, I'll probably check in with you later. Um, see what I'm cooking for tea, that kind of thing. But yeah, I'll see how these photos turn out. And if the photos turn out all right, then I'm gonna take my makeup off. But if not, then out in the garden I go again. <laughs> but yeah, I will check in with you in a bit. Wanna go for a <laughs> she go walkies. Oh, hang on, it's not focusing. Oh, there we go. Wow. Look, virtual cooking. Got a bit of dog hair in it, but... You know what? Add it for flavour. Oh, it's focused on your face and everything. A little square. Now take your bookings. <laughs> Okay, so I now am actually just going to conclude today's video. I realised that I didn't do an outro earlier. If you liked this video and you want to see some more, then like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video.